when they said Tinubu is a is a democrat, I always like like seriously, really, for somebody who has been aspiring to become president all his life, maybe at some point, when he sees things happening under him, I think he, he ought to have known or learned experiences of what happened while he was even fighting to become a leader in this country. He should have known all the tactics and bring everybody together. I remember when the campaign was going on and his boys, somebody who uses a known thugs, of course, majority of them who are supporting him now, they've once told us that hey, the reason why his party has been in power since 1999 is because of a using how he has been using thugs. He groomed them, he trained them, and up to now they are still suppressing and are still oppressing people in that same Lagos. All of a sudden now, they are now singing his praises, but that will not take the fat away that he is is known for what he's known for. Because during that election, we saw or the campaign, we saw how all these uh, same agbiros who were um, chasing people away, even their own people, they didn't allow them to vote just because uh, they wanted uh, everybody to vote for him. I've always said it: what he does, what his people do. They are the ones that will come back and begin to point fingers at other people. These are the things that other people are doing. With all this division happening, he saw what happened under Buhari. He never condemned it. That is to tell you that he loves, he loved it and he still loves it. We can see, we can see chaos, commotion, confusion all over the place. Maybe because he's still trying to find his feet. He has not gotten the legitimacy he wanted. But I believe that most of these problems we are facing, it costs them. And you can imagine the rave of the moment now is the division that he has caused. People are saying, I choose to be loyal to daddy than, than being a forger, presenting Oluwole certificates everywhere. I reject criminality because Nigeria president is a criminal, full stop. And that is what is trending all over the place. No matter how he has sent people out to you know, do damage control or to change the narrative. People still know what they know. Like I said from the beginning, those who are supporting, who are his supporters now, they are the ones who have been suffering in that same Lagos. And if really is that really popular, I do understand. Somebody who just came to a party under nine months was able to flood him. When this man is coming out, Baba Chelawa, that year, he came distance And that was exactly what happened. You can use the incident that happened in Lagos during the election, you see that Obi won him with a wide margin, but because of shame and all of that, they try to put it together. And then I say, yeah, yeah, Obi won, maybe with little margin. Honestly speaking, I never believed that uh, Obi could even get a 25% or let's say 20% in Lagos. That forget it. If there's any other place that says Obi would have won, not Lagos, uh, Forget for, for what now? Why should Obi win in Lagos? For what? Why should Obi win? And that is that was the reason why they came out all in their large numbers to say whatever that it will take. Hey, they saw how the governorship, uh, the presidential election went, and they came out and came out to disgrace themselves by doing rituals, doing juju, doing all manner of things. We saw the Yagbirus, we saw the TDI they are there. Thank God, internet does not lie. Internet does not lie. It's there forever and ever. They will tell you, yeah, it's happened in South East. Why can't we see the, the so-called uh, videos that his men came out and said, if you have not voted for Tinubu, don't come out. They tried that in during the presidential, but they couldn't even succeed. But they came out in broad daylight with guns and all manner of intimidations that if you are not voting for Tinubu, uh, uh, APC during the governorship election, that don't bother. Because I, if really <laughs> somebody who has been in charge of the same Lagos and they will not come out, you know, that is the hypocrisy that some people are talking about. Somebody who has not even done anything for you, meaningful thing to you, you will not turn around because it's from your side and you and you are still suffering and smiling and yet see what the problem he has caused. He has reintroduced a subsidy. So what are we talking about? Those who are supporting him until their life will go in for it. They will still support him until... The only thing that will make some people to stop supporting Tinubu is only when they are, they are no more. Because 
No matter the suffering, the level of hardship, no matter what symbol will cause them, they will never. And that's the reason why you see that uh, the APC problem, APC hardship that they uh, encountered, they experienced in 20, for 8 years, they are not bothered. The worst part of it is that those who are still living from hand to mouth, they are the ones who are even supporting. You can imagine the, the level of this desperation. I choose to be loyal to daddy of course we know that uh, they refer daddy to peter b when they said a uh, uh, an audio leaked when he was telling uh, a day yes daddy and all of that and people said yes they prefer to be loyal to daddy that than being a forger representing or presenting oluwole documents of course you know what has been going on here and there with the issue of a certificate or no certificates. If really it's really a democrat that he, they, they claim he is. There are some things, like I've always said, when Buari was there, there are some things that you just do before you know. Is it a woman? You will melt their heart. It's not that deep. It's not that difficult. It is not that difficult. You see most people, citizens of this say. Uh, Western world. It's not as if uh, there are many, many things that they're doing for them, maybe big, big things that they are enjoying. But little, 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 little things. Everybody knows that uh, the government cannot do everything, but at least the basic things of life, let them get it. If we are getting it here, I see no reason why I don't think people will be complaining or the whole thing will be as bad as this. But because of their selfish interest, that is why Nigeria is what it is today. So, guys, let's say your opinion and I will take on this.